Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. So, um, I'm at the Home Depot right now. I uh, came here to get some some big bags for my leaf, for my leaf, for the leaves that I raked. And uh, was in there for I don't know, like 20 minutes. Looked at some stuff, came out, ready to go home. And guess what? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm in a bit of a, I have a bit of an issue right now because my car is not wanting to start. Oh man, and it's nighttime, it's cold out, <clears throat> and I want to get home, but okay. So basically what I did so far is I... I was thinking maybe the battery was bad, so I, I was like, okay, what are you doing in this kind of situation where your car is not cranking, it's not starting, it makes no noises except for a click. I'm like, okay, probably like a weak battery or something like that. So I turned on my headlights, I went out, and it, it, was, it seemed like it was pretty bright. It seemed like it was pretty bright. So I'm like, <clears throat> all right, I don't know if it's the battery or not. I couldn't really tell. I mean, if it's a weak battery... I mean, it's, it's kind of dark out, but if it's a weak battery, you know, uh, I should be hearing some kind of crank or something like that, but I'm not hearing anything except for a click. So, I mean, I can't tell 100% whether, you know, whether it's the battery or not. I mean, granted, I haven't changed the battery in a couple years. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what do you do? All right, got to ask somebody to help me jump the car. Now, I was asking around. Nobody. <laughs> uh, man, it, I, I had to ask like five people to help me, you know, get a jump. And, you know, I, you know, I did get somebody to help me get a jump. To jump my car. Eventually. Sucks. So, I put the cables on. Try to stop the car. Nothing. So, I'm like, Okay. Maybe I gotta wait. So uh, I wait like three minutes, I think. Three minutes and waited. Had the cables on. The guy was car was running. Three minutes. Turn on. Nothing. Nothing happened. So I, like I gave the guy a couple bucks. I'm like fine. Not the battery at this point. Can resolve that. But. You know, after that was done, I was like sitting in my car. I'm th thinking to myself, "All right, now, now we're gonna have to get to some work here. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out what the problem is." And I went back out with the hood up, looked at looked at my terminals on my on my battery, and I noticed that the terminals were kind of dirty. Like, like there's there corrosions on there, like a lot of white stuff on there, kind of bluish stuff. So, all right. I was like, it, it, it's probably the terminals, right? So I, I had this little wrench set that I had. I went to the Home Depot to get this little wrench set. <clears throat> Came back out. Took the terminal off. Had a wire brush. Brushed it. Brushed all of it off. Brushed the, the terminals on the battery. Put, it, put the terminals back on. The cables back on the terminal. I was like crossing my finger. I'm like hoping that that would resolve my issue. I got back in my car. I tried to crank it. Nothing. Nothing. But I did hear a click though. <clears throat> I guess the click was louder. I'm not quite sure. But I was like, okay. Resolved. Probably not the battery. I mean, I didn't do this. Man, it would be best if I had done that before I got the jump. <coughs> but um, I was pretty sure at that point it was in the battery. So I was thinking to myself, okay, all right, so it's not the battery. What else could it be? Could it be the alternator? <coughs> so I was thinking to myself, maybe it was the alternator, right? And then I realized my car wasn't running. My car wasn't running. It's not the alternator. It can't be the alternator because my car is not running. Normally the alternator, the alternator if the alternator is the, the, the issue... It's causing your car not to start or whatever. You know, normally it dies out when your car is running, when you're on the road, when you're idling, something like that, right? So I'm thinking to myself, 
how do I know 100% it's not the alternator, right? What, what if the alternator died on me and uh, I was just driving on the battery and then I pull in the parking lot and then the battery drains to the point where it does nothing. And I can't start. But here's the thing. Um, when the guy put cables, when the guy put cables to uh, my battery, um, if the alternator was the issue, the alternator would have, you know, the car would have started up and, and, you know, the car would have been charged up by the battery. Now, if I had taken the cables off at that point, then the alternator would have died out. All right, so I, I can I can pretty much say that it's not the alternator. I can pretty much say that it's not the battery. I can pretty much say that it's not the alternator. I can pretty much rule all that stuff out. <coughs> all right, it's none of that stuff. I don't think. So I'm like, I'm looking at the negative, the ground cable. Maybe it's the ground cable that's the problem. Looking at the ground cable and had to take out a flashlight, look at the ground cable, see if uh, the ground was dirty. And uh, it wasn't that bad, actually. I couldn't really say that it was 100% clean, but I didn't actually bother taking the ground, unscrewing it, unbolting it, and bolting it back. I didn't do that. I just really didn't want to. So I could say it wasn't the ground because it didn't look that bad. So I'm thinking to myself, <clears throat> could it be the relay? Um, could it be the relay? And I, was, I went back out. I checked... I took off the cover to the fuse box and the relay on end of the hood. I'm like, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I was looking, I had to Google the star location. Got it. And I looked at the other relays. There was a one other relay that actually looked looked like the relay that that, that, that was for the starter. Well, it was pretty much, the, it was the same relay. So like I'm gonna swap it out. If it's the starter relay that's bad, I'm gonna swap it out. At least it'll start. And I swapped it out. It didn't do anything. I I cranked. It didn't do anything. It didn't crank nothing. <clears throat> so at that point, I'm like, man, maybe the bad relay that I took out from the starter and I put in, maybe I mean that maybe that could be causing it too because you know I'm just swapping one out for another. I I, I didn't know exactly what the other relay was for. Maybe it was for the composite computer or something like that. But anyway, it didn't. It didn't. Nothing happened. So. At that point, I was thinking, you know, I can't be 100% sure it's not the relay because I, I didn't actually buy another relay to put in it. But I, could, I would tell you this. When I try to turn on the car, when I try to turn on the car, it actually does, there's a little click. There's a little click. <clears throat> so, there's a little click. So, I'm thinking to myself, it can't be the relay because... Now, now I could actually... Figure out if 100% of it's the relay. If I if I was out there and somebody turn on, try to turn on the car, I could actually hear the relay click or or, or vibrate, right? But uh, I'm actually hearing a click, and that click's either coming from the relay. I think it's probably coming from the solenoid under starter. It's probably it. So I I'm, I can probably like safely rule out the relay. Okay, so moving on, I got the fuse box open. I'm thinking to myself, could it be like one of these fuses? I'm looking at the fuses. I'm shining my light on. And I'm like looking at these fuses. I'm thinking to myself, does any of them look blown? None of them look like they're blown. So I'm thinking to myself, I can't actually test this out because I don't have, uh, I don't have a a fuse tester. I mean, I might be able to go into Home Depot and get one, but I'm not quite sure on that. I'm not quite sure if they have it, and I don't want to actually walk in there again. <clears throat> I mean, but I, I could probably say, safely say, that it's probably not one of the fuses, because here's the thing about it. I've had issues before where the fuse was the problem, and I've had I've had that issue twice, actually. Once, um, on the car that I had previously, um, the fuse went out on me, and I was looking... You know, it, it went out on me and nothing started. Like, there was no electricity going to any parts of the car. You know, nothing actually worked. So, I was looking at the relay and I noticed that the main relay that connects the battery to the major, to, to the fuse box itself, that was blown. And once I switched that, swapped that out, got it working again. Got it working again. So, here's the thing about it. This is not that same issue. Reason being is that... 
I am getting electricity. Even the alarm works, the remote works. It's like I, 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 um, I locked my car when I went to the Home Depot. It worked. So everything works, the alarm works, everything works except the car's not starting. So that's not the issue. So the, the second problem that I, the second fuse issue that I ran into was, um, I ran into this issue where the car would crank, but it would not turn over. And the fuse that caused that was the fuel pump fuse. I'm pretty sure it's a fuel pump, either the fuel pump or PCM, something like that. One of those two, I'm not sure, but once I swapped out the fuse, the car started up, cranked, no problem whatsoever. In this situation here, this is not the same situation. Reason being is that I am not getting a crank at all. It's not cranking. Everything else works, but it's just not cranking. I mean, it's not turning over, but I got to get the crank first before it turns over. So, okay. Now, I didn't want to think this. You know, this, this, I've been in this situation before, and this situation sounds a lot like my starter. And I didn't want to think it because I did change out my starter about a year ago. And during that time, I've put in maybe 12,000 miles on my car. And it was a refurbished star that I got from AutoZone. Uh, and, uh, you know, I had a couple of people actually. Some guy didn't want to give me a jump, but he said, well, it's probably your starter because, you know, you're trying to turn it on and he had no time and whatever, whatever. He, you know, gave me a couple of excuses, told me it was probably the starter. I didn't think much of it, you know, because I actually changed it out a year ago. But at this point, at this point, I think it's probably the starter, you know, I, it just boggles my mind. I'm pretty, I, I would be pretty annoyed if I found out that it was the starter. I'm hoping it's something else besides the starter because I actually put some time into putting the starter back in, in, into this car like about a year ago, spent like 150 on it. I could have gotten a $300 starter. A brand new one from AutoZone, but I didn't want to shell out three hundred dollars for a starter. And you know, you can't. I mean, I think they're all want you know, warranted for a lifetime. I think it's a lifetime warranty or whatever. This this starter is probably a lifetime warranty, but that's not the point. The point is, I'm actually putting, you know, either money or work putting the starter in, taking it out, all that stuff, waiting for uh, for Triple A to pick my car up now i can't do anything for the rest of the day because it's the only car i have now i gotta wait for triple a to pick me up it's gonna just kill at least six seven eight hours of my day going to AutoZone, pick on pick up the starter take it out but it's gonna kill so much of my time and i really don't have time right now for this and but there's not really nothing i could do right now i mean i could try to Bump the starter with like a crowbar. Probably go to Home Depot and do that, but I don't want to do that right now. I really don't want to bump the starter and see. If... All right, so basically, I did call Triple A up about an hour ago, forty-five minutes ago, or something like that, and they're gonna call back, and I'm still waiting for them. Hopefully, they call me back soon. And tell me that, that they're in the area or something like that. I was told it would be an hour, but let's see. I'm going to keep you guys updated, all right, guys? All right, guys. So I I I waited two hours, actually, for a tow truck to tow my car to my house. Um, and... I did a bunch of tests on the fuses, on the relay. I actually walked to AutoZone to get a relay, popped it in, new relay, popped it in, nothing, 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 nothing. So I'm like, okay, it's gotta be the starter. So I, I was, you know, I, I spent some time taking, you know, the starter out, but before I actually unbolted and everything, I actually put a line to the little terminal on the solenoid to try to start it nothing so it, it was the starter so what i did was pretty much um i took the starter off went to AutoZone, told them about the situation it's a lifetime warranty 
gave me another starter. I told them I want a brand new starter for free. They wouldn't do it. And uh, I wasn't going to pay $300 for it. So they, they gave me another rebuild starter. Popped it in. I had them test it out first. Popped it in. And the car is running. Turns on. Everything works. Blah, blah, blah. I spent a couple hours doing it. Oh, man. This situation... It works, but but it doesn't make me feel any better that I oh just this year alone I put in two starters. It doesn't make me feel good, and the fact that this starter is a rebuilt one makes me think that I might have to get another. Might you know there might be another time within like a year or two where I might have to replace it again, which sucks. And this is the reason why I have triple A, but regardless. Regardless, it is what it is. Um, if you guys are in the same situation, I hope this video has helped you guys out. Uh, you know, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please leave your comments, guys. Always uh, want to hear your comments on 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 your situation. All right, guys. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you guys can, and uh, hope this has helped you guys out. All right, guys. Take care.